Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Don Chronicles here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Destiny 2 weekly reset for January 19th, 2021. So every major weekly reset that has happened this week I'll be covering in this video from the Nightfalls to the Crucible to all the little bits in between that is a major weekly reset. And something that's very important that they recently mentioned in a recent TWAB is that they will be retiring Crucible tokens. Now it does not look like they will be retiring any of the other tokens this season, but they may re be retiring all of the tokens eventually and then we'll be replacing this system with a level up system with shacks which you can check out the twab if you want more information you have to also keep in mind that this season is only going to be for three more weeks so if you want to complete anything from season of the hunt for whatever reason you got to complete it with the next three weeks the last season has me feeling entitled considering we had an extra like six weeks in the season i had plenty of time to do what i needed Moving on with the Nifle Ordeal, this week it will be the Inverted Spire. The Inverted Spire is going to be the one that's on Nessus with the big Minotaur at the end. This is one of those shorter missions, but it's very high density with a lot of champions, or at least a lot more champions than I thought there were going to be. So if you wanted to get 100k, 1250 should be plenty amount of points, and the modifiers for this week is going to be Unstoppable and Barrier. My personal favorite. Oh, my favorite! Radar disabled and enhanced radar, my favorite. The heroic modifier for this week will be Arc Singe. The rotating crucible playlist is mayhem. Tons of supers, grenades, heavies, everything you could possibly want for fun, you can do here. As for the Deep Stone Crypt Raid Challenge, this week it will be Copies of Copies. It's going to be taking place in the second encounter with Atrax, and in this encounter you're not allowed to eject any of the Atrax replication debuff out of the airlock. So you have to have the operator continually reset those people until you finish the challenge. So obviously, the best way to do this is to do it in one phase. Especially considering you get four of those replications per phase, you're gonna run out pretty quickly. For the weekly Empire Hunt, this week it's gonna be the Dark Priestess. If you need the Dark Priestess for whatever reason, or if you wanted to get that flaw, this is probably the easiest on this week. And again, keeping in mind, this is the last time you'll ever see the Dark Priestess this season, if you want to do it this season, but obviously Europa is gonna stick around for the, uh... For the whole year. Moving on to the moon stuff, starting up with the Nightmare Hunts. This week we have things like Zydron, Tanix, and Dominus Gall. Zydron being the easiest one because you can just hide from him up in the rafters. As for the Garden of Salvation raid challenge, this week it's going to be 0 to 100. It's going to be taking place in the boss encounter of the raid, and in this encounter, whenever you're dumping moats on a single relay, you have to dunk all 30 moats pretty much back to back of each other. It doesn't have to be both relays, one relay at a time is fine, as long as it's completely back to back. This one's a bit difficult, look up a guide online. Moving on to Ever versus Inventory, showing what she does have available for Bright Dust and a little bit of a perusal of the uh, silver section. First and foremost, we have an ornament for the colony. I'm not really that big a fan of the wooded thing. You got the Spill the Tea emote, which I imagine is pretty straightforward considering there's a bit of liquid here and, uh, well, I guess you have to stop the emote. Oh, okay. There you go. It just stopped the emote and then it, you know, you sprays it everywhere. You've got the Atlas Shell, which I thought there was another shell called Atlas Shell. You've got the Laguna Cruiser Shader, which always looks different on Titan Armors, by the way, so just keep this in mind. This is the Titan one. It always looks very different than other ones. The other Bright Dust section, we have things like the Shadow Trespass, which actually has these little lightning effects across the top, if that's something that you're into. You have the I'm a Red Dot Sight slash computer of the 90s looking ghost shell, which is available for Bright Dust. We have an ornament for the Hawk Moon. If you want to make the ornament look, or the Hawk Moon look slightly different in this side with the wood finish, I'm personally a fan of the other ornament they release. You have the meditative moment where you just kind of stand on one foot and meditate. I just realized there's actually claws on the boots of these things. God damn. Seems like uh, you got all sorts of yoga moves here. You got the no worries where you want to shake it off. Shake, 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 shake it off. Something like that, I'm sure. You got another uh, sparrow here, which looks like this. I actually don't remember this sparrow whatsoever. A little crane. Uh, you have an ornament for the uh, queen. Wow. Queen break ornament. I forgot about this. This looks sick. Other than that, you got transmat effects across the bottom. You got some more shaders, none of which are really that interesting. Perhaps the monochromatic would be uh, something that's interesting. Has some nice white finishes. Very nice across the board. And finally, moving over to Hawthorne's inventory, showing what she does have available for her weekly raid challenge, which is going to be Keep Out. In the Last Wish raid, this is going to be in the fourth encounter, in the Vault encounter. In this one, just don't let any of the Yellow Health Knights into the center circle area. And that is going to be pretty much the end of the video. Let me know in the comments down below if any questions or concerns. Also, make sure you come check out my live streams that I have right after these videos, as well as all the other times you can see on screen right now. We oftentimes do open lobbies, usually doing raids at the beginning of the week. So if you want to come join for DC Raid on PC, please come join us. It's usually open lobby, uh, and oftentimes we do other stuff as well. You know, Triumph Hunting, Nightfalls, Pinnacles, whatever it may be. 
come join us. Link in the description down below to my Twitch. But yeah, that's going to be the end of it. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name's Vinay Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye! And huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Without their help, videos like this and specifically these spreadsheets would definitely not be possible. So huge thank you to these Patreons, including Medibudu, Mama Dad, Shadow Moon, Joe Smith, Monday, Natalie Halpin, Steve Bachnowitz, Justin Herrera, and Raymond Showman for their support.